happy Father's Day. First present. First present oh, from man. Finn. The blue. Oh, right, okay, just go with it. Oh, hello. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can see it here. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Ted. I, I think I'll wear it most of the time. Villa for a week or two and had planned to explore Port Havana while we were on Afate Island. However, the authorities had shut it down as they were trying to contain the rhinoceros beetle that had begun attacking the coconut palms. So in an attempt to have a change of scenery, we headed to nearby Melee Bay to swing off the anchor while we awaited the arrival of family. What are you checking out, Ted? coffee time. The kids are already in the water. The difference between being in Port Villa and being anchored. Woohoo! So, we're a bit wet. Yeah, we just had a pretty average lee shore experience. Yeah. We knew that if it swung, we'd be on top of a moored local um, boat. Local. It's like a runabout, hey. Yeah. And um, yeah, it happened. It happened, thankfully, in daylight. It's yeah. uh, seven o'clock in the morning. Oh, yeah, <laughs> We've just pulled the anchor up, and um, because I I didn't even have time to get my jacket on or put my contacts in, so I couldn't see a thing. <laughs> off this morning anyway. Yeah, because well, like, not, not right it'll happen a little faster than uh, we expected. We expected. What? Man, it is just it's heavy. It's 
so the squall that put us on the lee shore is, is well you can see it is rolling through thankfully um there's another oh he's just started moving there's a big there's a big tanker over here that's coming into port villa like, well, we'll let him go first, eh? I'm not gonna fight him. He might have been waiting for that weather too. Yeah, he was just chilling at about 1.2 knots, and now he's, now he's doing six, so. Um, yeah, he was doing six. It's stopped raining now. All you can see is the dripping off the. Thankfully, I mean, we could see him on the chart, but it's always good getting eyes on something yeah, like that. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, we don't have the tower on the mountain. And we've got a mate over here, Josh, who's single-handed. And uh, getting your anchor up in 20 knots, putting onto a lee shore is not much fun. And he's gone and done it single-handedly, so he's not a legend. Uh, so yes, something to be said for a good anchorage. And it has been, it's been class. I can see Viva! I can see Viva! She looks hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I can see Viva! Oh, I can see Poppy! You look a bit sad too. You look a bit poor too. Why did we print it? So that Viva and Poppy can come on board and come up to the other island with us. Yay! Hooray! Get Otherwise, excited. If they can't come on board, they can't go anywhere. Yeah, this is it. This is where they're staying. Who are we going to see? Viva and Poppy and Nana and Daddy. Are you ready? For yeah. Lots of cuddles. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Uh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> Chippies! Yeah, you can you please help your children to be encouraged to eat some of Yeah, oh, you don't have to ask them twice. <laughs> yeah, good, how are you? Good. You had a good, good flight? Yeah. Hello, Poppy. Good, how are you? Hey. <laughs> Hello. Great adventure. Ah. We just jumped in a bus from Chantilly and we're heading to the Waterfront Hotel um, where the tender is so that we can head back out to the boat. Hey guys. Yeah. Yes. Wow. We 
actually did get boarded um, by a, an army boat at an island. Oh yeah. Uh, it was friendly, yeah, it was like chill yeah. out, but they checked the laptop for work. It's easy on the ears. How, how did you go? My dad at customs, we had a win on you the island cruising. Yep. Awesome. And we filled a gas bottle too. Oh, you did? Yeah. Good job. Uh, tomorrow, and we're done. Cool. Awesome. Oh, so excited. Yeah, there's more, I think. And another one. Oh, this is the best we've found. Your favourite. My favourite coffee. When in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. And you were saying, so we've we've so, we've just had who arrive? Um, and my and got, yeah. The grandparents and the great grandparents. And they have been very, very good to us. They've been busy shopping. Yeah. This guy, as we were coming over the hill, and I believe it's a hundred plus feet steel catch that in 2016, with two anchors of 200 meters worth of chain each, had a category five come through, broke its mooring and it's been there ever since. The, the story goes, the chief hasn't allowed, the chief over here in the village in which it's washed up on, hasn't allowed anybody to loot it. And we're told that its hull hasn't been breached either. They've attempted to refloat it to no avail, so it's still there. Nature one, human zero. Such a big bird. Okay, I'm gonna go into the toilet. Four generations, ten of us in one ute. <laughs> in a five seater. We're doing it right. The great grandparents, the grandparents. It's terrific. Comfy in there? Yes. 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 Yes.
Okay. Here we go. How are you? Are you comfy? Great. Looks like you should have a steering wheel in front of you. Yes, I'm on the roof. Where is it gone? What are you doing wrong, mate? Yeah, They'll <laughs> find their way down to this beach. All right, you lot. Second half of the Farto. <laughs> yeah. Woo woo. First dinner on board. Yes. Well done. Fried yeah. rice. Beautiful. Fried <laughs> lace. Fried lace. And tomorrow, we're off early. Mm -hmm. And we're heading north. In the next episode, we leave early with Vima and Poppy on board and sail to Epi Island, hitting some of Taria's fastest speeds yet. We introduce ourselves to the village of Foreland and we're spoiled with a stunning sunset for Vima and Poppy's first night on Anchor. Join us next time. Hit subscribe, become part of our patron family and keep up to date with us on Instagram and Facebook. Make sure you watch to the end. There's some serious mathematics going on. Get your trail. What is a trail? Or your cape.